So are you dying to get out with your husband more, but fearful that there's just not enough room in your budget for that kind of thing? Do you feel like it could be possible to go on more dates with your husband, but you're just totally overwhelmed by the idea and can't even begin to start thinking about how the heck to budget it? I promise, Mama, it's not as hard as you may think. Allow today's podcast guest, Krista from Money Mindful Mamas, and I to make all this a whole lot simpler for you. We're going to give you some simple strategies that you can implement today that'll not only free up your mind and your heart for this very important desire, but also your bank account too. Get ready to take notes as Krista shares her top tips for how to budget for inexpensive dates with your husband and even her favorite free date nights to add to your list. Save that bottle of wine or better yet, go buy one because you're going to need it very soon. Let's plan it out, mama. Hey mama, welcome to Mom Nation. Do you want a better work-life balance and more time and energy? Do you find yourself thinking, how can I add more hours into the day? Or Googling, how to deal with mom guilt and can my marriage survive toddlers? Do you wake up with big goals only to feel overwhelmed and alone and you have no one to help you and your littles aren't listening to you again? Hey, I'm Cheyenne. I too was an exhausted mom away from my family. I too felt drained with a strong-willed toddler and wished I could find balance between being a wife, mom, stepmom, and entrepreneur. I wanted more energy to give my husband, to discipline my kids well, and incorporate Jesus into our home, but I kept telling myself that I just couldn't do it without a community around me, until I found balance and confidence in raising Jesus-loving littles. In this podcast, you will find time and energy management help, tips for disciplining, and what to do when you have no village, so that you will find balance between all of your roles and trust your own mom tuition. Time to grab those headphones, mama, pour that green smoothie and get ready to be mom inspired. You're no longer alone. Well, hello, hello, mamas. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode here at Mom Nation, where us moms get real, we got us, we get authentic, and we get down to business. And today we have a highly requested topic from you ladies that have come in from all of your interviews and all of your requests in my private Facebook group, which if you're wondering what the heck is that, don't worry, I'll have more information on that later. And of course, a link in the show notes, but this is something that you guys have continually asked me about. And I got a great mom expert to talk about this very topic for you. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest and she is going to launch into telling you a little bit more about what we're talking about today. But first and foremost, I want to welcome my guest today, Krista from Money Mindful Moms. Hey girl, welcome to the Mom Nation podcast. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here and to chat with you a little bit. Likewise, likewise. I am so thankful for technology because it's not only connecting us and connecting us to all of my amazing mom listeners out there, but it also got us a chance to get to know each other a little bit. We, we, we recently became Insta buddies and I love that. That's been a fun experience. Yes, totally. I love how the internet works and sometimes just partners you up with just the perfect people. Definitely, definitely. And it's funny how it's, um, it's like that new normal of almost like knowing so much about someone before you launch into your first (laughs) conversation, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I remember when we first talked face to face, I was like, okay, so I kind of stalked you. And basically (laughs) I already want to be like your, your BFF. I want to be your, your business partner. Like I love all that you stand by because I can't wait for you to share with everyone today what you do because really like one stop on your social media and on your website and I was instantly like this is what I've been looking for and this is what so many of my moms have been looking for so I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna let you tell all of us um, a little bit more about yourself Um, you are a mom of four and so you can definitely relate to so many of my moms listening Um, I know you are also a mom of of a little you've got a little one at home Um, so why don't you just take a moment and share with us a little bit about your family and also what you do. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm so glad that you shared that when you were on my site and on my Instagram, that it was what you had been looking for, because that's exactly why I created it. Because when I was in the same shoes as you, I was looking for something like this and I just didn't see it. And so that's exactly why I wanted to create it. So um, like she said, I'm Krista from Money Mindful Moms. And 
I um, help moms who are just starting out or sort of restarting their journey towards becoming more mindful with their money. And a lot of times that can look like paying off debt. A lot of times that can look like just prioritizing, building up savings or cash flowing family experiences so that you're not in that debt cycle. So I love that that resource really helped you. I have a blog and an Instagram where I share a lot and I have a program that helps moms. So yeah, that's really what I'm super passionate about is helping moms in that area. I love it. I love it. And I love that it comes from such a personal space, you know, because something you said right there that resonated with me so much and maybe moms listening is like kind of relearning. And it is a relearning process once we become wives and then we become mothers, because unlike when we're single, we're now balancing a different kind of a budget and we're balancing different kinds of numbers and our passions really pivot too, you know, instead of maybe saving up for, you know, a night out with the girls or something, suddenly we're like, okay, like how can I save up for my kids to get a new pair of sneakers that they need already? Because they just grow like crazy and they don't stop growing. And, and so there's all these different focuses now that we're moms. And so I love that you're, you know, reclaiming that space and like showing a woman like, Hey, it may be overwhelming and confusing, but Hey, we got this, we got this together. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. It's just, you just become more aware of things in a different way. I think once children are in the picture, it, it's no longer, you know, just me, myself and I, it's your money is now spread out and you have different priorities and there's just a lot to consider for sure. All right. And, you know, Krista, it's so funny with, you know, with diving into mom life, you know, before we became moms, we became wives first. Right. And, uh, you know, it can be hard as a mom to remember what that life was like, maybe when it was just us and our husbands and going on dates and uh, where all the baby making led to, of course. And now we're <laughs> juggling um, little ones around and stuff. And uh, so many of my listeners, you know, they desperately want to have more time, more energy for their husbands, um, but also that feeling of wanting to have more money, you know, um, so, so often at the end of every month, um, I'm sure you've heard of it too, from your clients, you know, moms feel so spent, not just energy wise, but budget wise. And uh, very often our relationship with our husband kind of comes at the end of the totem pole. So, we want to help pivot that, you know, because I think we know it's like happy, what is that? Ha happy wife, happy life and a happy relationship, you know, right? It's going to make us better parents to these beautiful kiddos and keep our families intact. So I want to know uh, what you would suggest um, with your expertise, you know, where can a mom start if she wants to begin taking intentional dates with her husband? How can she start saving towards making those date nights happen? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I, I love this topic because I look forward to date night every week. It's like, I see it in the calendar and I'm like, yay, we get to have time without the kids, you know? Um, Amen. so the, yeah, the first thing I would say is really just deciding on what date night really means to you. Does it mean that it has to be out of the house? Um, does it need to be weekly, monthly? Could it be during the day when your kids are at school or do you need to prepare for a sitter? Um, is it just intentional time with your spouse where your phones are away? You don't have kids climbing on you. Like, what does that actually look like for you? Because I don't think we really think about that. And we just assume, oh, it's going to be expensive. So we don't even like bother to really like imagine what that time could look like. And once you know what that looks like, then you can really figure out how much it's going to be in your budget to make that happen each month. And my next question for clients, no matter what they're saving for is, okay, so in order to make that happen, do we want to increase the income? Do we want to decrease expenses or do we want to do a little bit of both and really just kind of force you to take that next step of like, okay, we know you want this. So now what do we need to do to make that a reality? And sometimes it can be as easy as just picking up an extra shift at work per month or per week, you know, whatever works for your family. Or if you're a stay at home mom, maybe monetizing something that you're already doing. If you're already picking up kids at school, can you pick up a couple other kids and drop them off and have a little carpool service? What can you do income wise to make that happen so that it's not just this sort of in the clouds idea would be so nice if kind of thing, but like, let's actually make the plan 
to make that a priority in our budget. I love that. And and really bringing it into the tangible space, um, you know, something that was so clear from the beginning that you said was define it, define it for you, you know, Um, because we all can think of the big extravagant date ideas or think about what our life was before kids, right? But we're not in that season anymore. And um, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you and I can agree, of course, it's nice to have those, those big moments or to hopefully have those date nights away. I know as of the recording of this um, conversation, I'm actually going on a baby moon with my husband this weekend. So excited about that. And that that was something we had to budget for as well, or we got to, I like to look at it as we got to budget for, right. It's like, okay, yes, we had to, um, look outside of our regular expenses and see where we had to pivot some things, but we made it that priority and and we defined it for ourselves. You know, some people take baby moons for three, four nights, um, but we don't have as much help here. So we realized, okay, we get 24 hours. Let's own that 24 hours, yes. right? Like what can we do in those 24 hours? And so in the second point, I love that you, you said, Krista is like, don't make it always about what do we have to cut back on? Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's where most people's, most moms, you know, mindsets go. And that's where the fear comes. I think that's where it creeps in. But, um, but you said, Hey, why not see about where you can increase it? And I, and I love that. Have you experienced that in your own family situation? Like, have you shifted your mind, shifted your mindset there too? Like to how can I increase versus decrease? Oh, absolutely. I feel like in the beginning, I almost went, I swung the pendulum in the opposite direction and it almost developed like a scarcity mentality. It was like Mm. cutting all these things um, to where it wasn't healthy on that side either. And so I have found that um, there's a healthy balance. And for me, focusing on increasing the income makes it to where I can still enjoy a date night, enjoy my Starbucks, enjoy those little extras without feeling like, I need to white knuckle every dollar that comes in because we're cutting, just focusing on cutting instead of focusing on, you know, increasing the income. So wait, you can have your Starbucks and a date night too. I love uh, that. Yes. <laughs> Combine <laughs> them even have a date at Starbucks. Why, why not? not? Amen. Exactly. You know, and then go walk through Costco afterwards or whatever. That sounds really <laughs> glorious without children, just walking right. around Costco. It's the little things, right? Take that as a free note, mamas that can be included as an inexpensive date night too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes. Um, and you know, Krista, you mentioned scarcity and I, I hear that word, um, thrown around out there. And I'm wondering if you would just like, how would you define that? Like the scarcity mindset, just for moms who are maybe like, Hey, I've heard that I may have that. I don't know. Like, how would you define that for someone? Yeah, for me in my life, it looked like I was doing things with the best of intentions, but it didn't really make sense on paper. And I didn't realize it at the time. Mm. So to give you an example, um, instead of choosing to use my time to increase our family's income. I was like selling little things on Facebook marketplace for like a dollar or $2. And it was taking so much time and energy to do that. (laughs) And so my poor husband, I mean, he was so like sweet and understood. I was really trying to help our family, but you know, he pointed out to me like, Hey, what if instead of spending all this time doing this, you put that time into growing your income or whatever that looks like. So I think for me, that was such a huge aha of like, I'm, I'm spinning my wheels in this area and it's not giving me a whole lot of return on investment because I've gotten so obsessed with like every dollar that's coming in. Mm. Wow. I love that. I love that, that intention was like, it was within you, but it's almost like your husband called it out of you. And Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that that is um, that he came from such a supportive space. And, you know, ladies, if you're, if you're out there, I know that sometimes a big block or barrier in our money mindset, or um, even building a business on our own can be our own spouse. And, And unintentionally, maybe he's got his own mindset he's trying to figure out, or maybe some, you know, past things or how his family thought about money. And so uh, what I just want to encourage is, is to know that, you know, as of today, if you need a squad, if you need a team to surround you, 
and to support you in developing a new money mindset or heck even yes, like growing a business for yourself. Well, please count myself and Krista in because that's what we're all about. That's what Krista is all about as being the money mindful mom, you know, and helping you become a money mindful mom also is becoming more mindful of where you're at. Um, if I can put those words in your mouth, Krista, I hope I'm doing a good job, but helping you become more mindful of where you're at and then where you can shift and how you can move forward. Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly it is. It, it is just becoming more mindful, not an obsession, mm -hmm. not an unhealthy mm -hmm. obsession, but how can I just be more mindful and, and make sure that my money that I'm spending is intentional and the time that I'm spending is intentional. Mm, money I'm spending is intentional and the time I'm spending intentional. I love that. And marrying those two together, just as you married your husband. And um, if you're listening to this, we know that you're intrigued of, you know, how to have these inexpensive date nights with your husband. So we know that that is a desire of your heart, that that is a passion of yours, that you see the, the purposefulness of it and the intentionality is there. So now that Chris has painted the picture of, you know, how to get there, um, how it should be a priority and how it is possible for you, uh, Krista, as we, as we close this podcast today, as a wife yourself, I'm just curious to know, um, do you have some inex inex uh, inexpensive date nights of your own, like ideas that you'd like to share with my audience today? Oh yeah, for sure. And I think the first like roadblock that I see people come up against is childcare. So I just want to ad address that part right now because it can be pricey. So if it's something that you can factor into your budget, absolutely do. But if it's not an option, of course, at home date nights can be great, but can you consider swapping with a friend? If you have friends who have kids, uh, my best friend has kids around the same age. And so we're just really intentional. And I feel like that is my way of supporting my friend and um, her marriage. I wanna like pour into that is to say, hey, let me take the kids so you guys can go on a date night. And then she does the same for me. So do you have somebody that you can swap with there if, if um, paying for it isn't an option? But a couple of date night ideas, I always have felt like the most connected with my husband when we can either do something that focuses on our past or our future. And so I love mm. um, a good nostalgic date night where we, uh, we've gone to the park where we got married before and just kind of walked around and, and talked about that time and what life was like then. And then maybe visited a restaurant where we had one of our first dates. So uh, that's like a good, like past date. And then a good future date. I, I like to do a, I call them dream dates. And it's where you sit with your spouse and say, Hey, like, what do we want? Like, what do we want to do? Like, let's dream a little bit. Maybe you have a dream of living in a certain neighborhood. So you drive around the neighborhood together and you talk about it and then start planning for it. Or you have a dream to take a vacation together, um, you know, without kids. And so you actually sit down and you plan that out and, and just get excited about what the future holds. So those are some of my favorite inexpensive date nights is both like reflecting on your past together and, and thinking about those like fun early days, as well as like dreaming together for the future. I don't know if you could check me out over here, but I'm literally like taking notes like, oh, those are <laughs> so good. It's so good. And like, I love you just, I feel like you just upped the level of romance too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and how funny is that though? Is like, I, I instantly was like, oh my gosh, that's so practical, but it's so sweet and it's simple. And it's something, yes, you can do actually without money. If you, if you wanted to, it can be as inexpensive as, only yeah. investing your time and your energy into um, each other, which is um, also very important. But I, I love that. And um, ladies, I, I hope that uh, you caught that you wrote those notes down because that was that was just beautiful. That was amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's I, I think sometimes we can overthink it because we're ha we have this sort of like Instagram idea mm. of what the date night should look like of we're doing, you know, all these different things. And it, if right. it's not in your budget or you just choosing to, I just want to spend intentional time. I don't need all those extra things. You absolutely can make yes. that happen. Yes. And you know, one more quick free advice, uh, before we close this episode, mom's listening, um, Ikea in a lot of places around the world has like a two hour playground limit for kids. And you can't exactly like dine and dash. You can't exactly like drop them off and leave them, but 
hey, Ikea, talk about dreaming about that dream life. Like you can walk through, plan a future home. You can probably have dinner for under like 20 bucks in their cafeteria and it's kid free. So I'm just going to say we've done it. And it has been one of our favorite date nights. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I am so doing that. I had not even thought of that. What a good idea. Oh my gosh. It's great. Cause you can pretty much start at the playground and then it takes you about two hours just to walk through the whole store, but at least you're like kid free and you and your husband can like dream up or just have fun, like trying out the sofas and the beds, right? Like getting to just be the two of you guys and just be kids again yourselves. And then your kids are there. They've had a great time. They're exhausted. And then you guys can go home and you guys all had a date night. Totally. I love that. Oh, I love it. And I love you, Krista. And before we go, I want to make sure that every single mom that's been listening to your beautiful insights here tonight, that if they would like to further connect with you, I want to make sure that they do so. So if you could please just share what is the best way for a mom to connect with you and find all your resources, how can they do that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I mostly hang out over on Instagram. So you can definitely find me there. Um, It's just at money mindful moms. um, So pretty easy to find me. And um, if you have questions or whatnot, feel free to send me a DM. I love chatting with people and just kind of seeing how I can support. Um, I also have a blog. So if you really like reading blog posts and and really are wanting to dive in and and binge all the free content that I have, you can head over to just moneymindfulmoms.com to read more and get started on your money mindful journey. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And while you're there, I have to say, because I've done some binging myself, you'll get some great nuggets about family life and beauty and a little bit of food wisdom and a little bit of everything. So I love that you've offered that like one-stop shop and you are so darn personal on face-to-face with podcasts, but also on Instagram as well. So ladies, go. She's going to be one of those people you shoot a DM and she's going to respond to you personally. She's going to make you feel so loved. So I couldn't encourage you enough because I know firsthand. Um, and it's why we're here tonight. So please get over and hit up Krista at, uh, the money mindful moms and go reach out to her and, uh, allow her to help you allow her to inspire you in the way that she knows firsthand best. Cause she's been there. Oh, awesome. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Thank you, Krista, for joining me on this episode. And uh, I already look forward to having you on another one. I'm just going to declare it like this is the beautiful beginning, I feel like, of an awesome friendship and partnership. And you have so much to offer mom. So I'm just going to say until next time, again, thank you for for joining me. And uh, thank you, ladies, for joining us on another episode of Mom Nation. Um, Be sure to check the show notes below because I'm going to have all of Krista's links um, that she talked about in the show notes below. I'll also have the link to my Facebook group. And we are just so proud of you. Thank you for dedicating this time with us today. And uh, here is a big virtual hug from us to you. With all the overwhelming and hard choices a new mom has to make, where you get you and your baby's top-notch nutrition shouldn't be one of them. Ever since I first began my fertility journey, I've trusted one place with all of my women's wellness needs, a company and brand that truly goes above and beyond with their cleaning and natural products. I mean, they even pray over their supplements. Yep, I'm talking about Pink Stork a woman-owned, American-based women's wellness company that has products for every area of a woman's needs. Everything from fertility, pregnancy prenatal, postnatal, nursing, menopause, to even a brand new line of men's fertility products and vitamin drops for babies. See why it's my one-stop shop, mama? I can shop in peace and good vibes when I have Pink Stork in my shopping cart. And so can you. Go check out my own link below or visit holyhealthyhappymama.com slash pinkstork to check out my personal favorites list and grab yourself 15% off with code Cheyenne C15. You won't be disappointed.